Hey guys, it's Mike Chin. In this video, I am in South Korea trying out some of the best cheap eats in Seoul. And I found a buffet that I'd never seen before. It's an all-you-can-eat banchan buffet. And it rotates. And before getting to this video, I just want to give a big thank you and shout out to the sponsor of this video, Saley. If you don't know, Saley is a new eSIM service app offering seamless connectivity to over 160 countries and eight regions. All this without the need of a physical SIM card, which is amazing. I've talked about this in previous videos. Whenever I travel, one of the biggest headaches, well, before eSIMs, was getting a SIM card. I remember a time when I bought a SIM card from a local 7-Eleven. Turns out it didn't work. Another time I had to wait at the airport SIM card stall to try to get a SIM card installed on my phone. They couldn't get it to work. When I traveled to South Korea, I used to have to go to the SIM card store in the middle of Myeongdong. And for some reason, they were the only ones that were able to get the SIM card to work on my phone. But eSIM has been a game changer to provide instant connectivity wherever you travel to. It's incredibly convenient and you save money on roaming fees. And Sailing it's been an app I've been using for the last several months when I was traveling to the Philippines, Taiwan, South Korea. The app is so easy to navigate. So what I do is before I head off to a new country, I open Sailing on my phone, purchase a plan for the destination country, activate it before I get on my flight so that when I land, I have internet access and I don't have to try to mess with the local airport Wi-Fi, which a lot of times is very spotty, especially now that a lot of countries are doing electronic arrival cards online. This has been a lifesaver. Also, my favorite thing about this app, 24 hour support. And if your phone is not compatible with the eSIM, get your money back. And like I said, it's so simple. Just download the app and do what I do before you get to your destination country, activate the eSIM. And when you land, your Sally eSIM will be activated and you're online. So if you are planning on traveling abroad, trust me, this will make your life so much easier. So if you want to give it a try, go to my link down below or better yet, just download the Sally app directly. Use my promo code Mike Chen for 15% off your order. And if you did purchase the eSIM plan on the Sally website, you should still download the Sally app first. Hey guys, Mike Chen here in Seoul, South Korea, and today I am going on another cheap eats tour. And that is why I am here in Hyundai, starting out the food day here at Brady Post. And this place I accidentally walked by a couple days ago, and it's a pretzel cafe. I'm a huge fan of pretzels, so I looked at the photos of this place. It looks so cool. Let's go inside. So apparently this is a chain restaurant that focuses on pretzels. And this place makes the pretzels fresh all day long and there's a lot to choose from. I think the most popular is the scallion pretzel. There's also chocolate pretzel, garlic pretzel, there's pepperoni pretzel, there's three cheese pretzel. And I got their new item, the pulled pork pretzel. Let's try this first. So this pretzel has toasted cheese on top. There's herbs, there's jalapenos. So inside, there's pulled pork, there's onions. Mm. This is incredible. First of all, I love pretzels, and this is a fresh pretzel. It's slightly toasty on the outside. Inside, so airy and soft and delicious. The pulled pork is actually very tender, a little smoky. Cheese on top, nice and toasty. I love the heat coming from the jalapenos. That definitely exceeded my expectations. A pulled pork pretzel, there's a lot riding on that. The pretzel's gotta be good. The pulled pork's gotta be tender. If the pretzel's stale or the pulled pork is dry, this is not gonna be good. Luckily, neither of those things were the case. So good. Wow. This is the three cheese pretzel. And for the pulled pork pretzel and the three cheese pretzel, they were all toasted in the oven before it was brought to you. Just to melt the cheese a little bit, I think. They come with a little condensed milk. So this is gonna be a little sweet and savory bite. Not as good as the pulled pork pretzel, not bad. Definitely sweet and savory. I think there's uh, different types of cheese inside these little pretzel bites. I think these are just okay. This one I'm really excited about. Bacon scallion pretzel. In the middle, a good helping of cream cheese. This is good. Actually, I've been calling it a scallion pretzel. It's a bacon chai pretzel. Pretzel, definitely fresh. The cream cheese is rich, it's creamy. You taste the bacon, love the fresh chives. It adds a nice little kick and a nice garlicky flavor. If you're ever around the Hyundai area, 
You want a nice pretzel alternative to a traditional bagel? This is an absolute phenomenal place. But yeah, if I lived around here, I'd come here for breakfast all the time. So the best place to find super affordable sushi is in Hongdae. And this is one of the best restaurants for just that. This is called Sushi and Beef. And on weekdays, they have these amazing lunch special. And this is my lunch special today. And the cheapest lunch special, I think that one would be maybe one piece less than mine, will be $10. And mine right now is about $11 for this giant platter of sushi. So it's 11 pieces of sushi for about $11, about a dollar a piece but look at how much fish you're getting with your sushi. These are the long sushi, look at this. That is a lot of fish. This is at least two to three nigiri worth of fish in this one sushi. On top of that, you get a free soba and free miso soup in addition to a shrimp tempura. salmon, there's tuna, there's tomago, there's squid, shrimp, there's flounder, and a few cooked pieces too. This is garlic squid. Wow. Mm, that's really, really good. And this is the swordfish. Look at that. With little fried crispies on top. Mmm, the seared fish is phenomenal. Oh man, smoky, rich, creamy with a layer of mayo. A little sweet and so much better with the crunchy tempura flakes on top. I don't know what this is. Look at this. This is a ginormous, it looks like a ginormous roll. Oh, this is a filling bite. So that was like a like a giant kimbap. Next up, Inari. Mm, not bad, not bad. Also, what's interesting about this place, instead of dipping your sushi into the soy sauce and wasabi, you brush it. Shrimp. Mm, that's a sweet scrumptious shrimp. And look at this piece of squid. Holy moly. Rush a little wasabi and soy sauce on top of that. I love how like every single piece of sushi looks like it's going to the prom. They all have a giant tray on the back. Mm, even the tamago. It's ginormous. I don't think I've ever seen a sushi to rice ratio as crazy as this place. With my lunch special, I get two pieces of tuna. Oh no, I totally destroyed my flounder piece. Mm, you're getting so much more of the fish in every single bite. Look at the salmon piece. The link is almost half the board. Have you seen a more ridiculous piece of sushi than this? Tender, a little fatty, perfect. And they just brought this over. So everyone gets a free hand roll as well. So the hand roll looks like there's squid and something else inside. Mm. That was a giant, a giant piece of tender squid inside that toasty seaweed and the seared salmon to add some extra fat umami flavor to that hand roll. This whole brunch has been phenomenal. This giant plate of sushi with so much fish for around $10. This is borderline unbelievable. So yeah, Monday through Friday, come here, get the lunch special. You'll love it. Before the next place, this is one of my favorite bubble teas right now, Hey Tea. The quality of the tea, you can taste it. One thing I love about Hyundai is you can just walk around the restaurants and more likely than not, you're gonna find some really good deals on food, uh, especially barbecue. There's a lot of really interesting barbecue places and I just walked past this barbecue place. Look at this, lunch special for 10,000, so about seven US dollars for that. It's about $3 for soups too. Yep, I definitely found my lunch spot. This is beautiful. Ton of delicious looking banchan. Some fish cakes, clams, kimchi, potato salad. Yeah, I love how they bring the whole grill in as a plate. That is a tender brisket. 
By the way, their kimchi is so good. That thing will light you up once you cook the meat. Put it here. Mm, that pork belly is even better than the brisket. There's also salt, wasabi, garlic that you can also eat with your barbecue. Make a little sum out of it. Mm. Oh, that's so perfect. My soups are here. These giant soups. Again, only about three US dollars. And this one is a spicy pork with rice soup. This one is their most popular soup here. This is the soybean paste soup with rice inside. So tofu, scallions, zucchini with an egg. Oh, that's good. Make another song with the pork belly. Mm. Super affordable, super delicious barbecue. There's another reason I love, love Korea. Places like this is everywhere around here. There's tons of barbecue places with absolute mind-blowing deals on food. Especially if you go on the weekdays during lunchtime, there's so many lunch specials going on. All this, all this, about seven US dollars. Oh, my second soup just came. I'm definitely gonna need a hiatus after this. This is my spicy seafood Korean noodle soup. So ramen inside, there's squid, there's clams. Oh, that's good. Spicy, very seafoody. You taste the clams in the soup for sure. And this is about 350, almost four US dollars. So everything here, under $15, is delicious, it's satisfying. It'll put you in a nice food coma, all for the price of an extra value meal. Try my next piece of pork belly, just some wasabi, a little bit of salt, and a piece of raw garlic. Oh, so fatty and nice. Such an amazing deal. I'm glad I stumbled on this place. The banchan's really good, the meat's good, the soups are good. Yeah, this is an outstanding barbecue place. Also, never had this banchan before. Seaweed with a little clam. Or chili sauce. Mmm, crispy seaweed. Clams are delicious. Goes really well with my spicy noodles. Good evening, it's dinner time and the cheap eats day continues. I'm in the Gunham area and uh, this is a very unique dining experience. Let me show you. It's an all you can eat rotating banchan buffet. All for 9,000 won, for about seven US dollars. You enter the facility by entering your credit card. That's not actually how you pay. That's just really to identify who you are. You pay inside in the kiosk. And they do this because this place is open 24 hours a day. But only between 9 a.m. till 8 p.m., there's a staff member that keeps refilling the banchan. And then the rest of the time, whatever is there, that's what's there to eat. There's rice included, there's soup included, there's water. And there is dozens of different banchan here. Some I've never never seen before. So I got some soup and it's a seaweed soup. Pretty good seaweed soup. Got my rice and pick your bunch up. Unlike a sushi conveyor belt buffet, there is actually a button to stop the conveyor belt for about five seconds so you can get the bunch on without having to rush. At the same time, I look around and nobody's actually using that button. Everyone's just grabbing the bunch on as it goes by, which also works. There's so many different bunch on here. Um, I got some fiddle de ferns, some celtis, some spicy potatoes, braised fish, spicy pork bulgogi, some little anchovies, chili crab, so they even have seafood and meat here. Some pickled garlic, Korean style meatball, and uh, porella leaf. It's really good. Pork bulgogi. It's spicy, it's flavor really well. Perfect with the rice. I'll show you all this stuff is perfect with the rice. Mm. The celtis is probably the crunchiest vegetable and everything tastes so good. Spicy potato. Chase it with the pepper. I love this place. I'll come here all the time. This is such an amazing deal for this delicious food. Braised fish, amazing. These all go so well with rice. Korean meatball, 
Not bad. When I first discovered Korean restaurants give out banchan for free back in New York City, I would sometimes go to Korean restaurants, order the cheapest dish on the menu, get the rice, and mainly just eat the banchan. I didn't expect to see crab on this buffet. Mmm, delicious. One of my favorite things, pickle garlic. The Korean pickle garlic tastes exactly like Chinese tang suan, or what we call sugar garlic. It's so good, especially when you're eating something fatty. You need some banchan, you need some rice, chase it with some soup. Like everything here tastes super homemade. Absolutely delicious. Yeah, this is such a bargain for around seven US dollars. Unbelievable. I love banchan so much. When I used to go to Koreatown, I just choose restaurant based on how good the banchan is or and how plentiful the banchan is. I remember like there was a restaurant in, in uh, New York, Koreatown that would give out a whole grilled fish as part of their banchan. I think I need another soup and another rice. Fishbone. Fishbone is not bad, a little sweet, kind of tastes like jerky. Super flavorful tofu. Oh yeah, that thing is spicy. Stir fried kimchi. The stir fried kimchi inside this anchovy filled bowl of rice. I eat a whole bowl of rice just with those two things. Rice bowl number two. And I'm really liking this purple rice. Usually I don't like it as much because it has beans inside, but this one does not. This is one of my favorite places in all of Seoul, I think. If I ever lived here, I'd be here all the time. This is such a comforting meal. It's such a great price. Again, everything tastes so good. Ooh, I found some tudo si. Mmm. Stir fried potatoes. That's good. Potatoes good, the kimchi's good, tofu's good. The crab is very spicy and delicious. Mmm. Rice is good, soup is good. Yeah, this place will definitely fill you up. So apparently, this place uses the identification system to let you in because a lot of these unmanned places gets damaged or looted, so they had to take some measures. Ah, amazing dinner. And then when you're done, just put the whole plate into the chute, and you're gonna go. This is so interesting. I just found this canned soda here in South Korea. Didn't have a typical tab opening system. This one, what you do is you pull it, then you slide the tab, and yeah, now you can reseal the soda. This is amazing. That's pretty delicious too. One more place for dinner. All you can eat barbecue. I think at the place conversion, about $11. This is an awesome barbecue in Gangnam. It's a pork only barbecue. And if you come here actually before 5 p.m., all the drinks are free. So they bring you a couple pieces of meat first, and these are beautiful, beautiful looking chunks of pork belly. And then there's a whole buffet section in the middle of the restaurant where you can get all sorts of veg. There's pig skin, there's pork jaw, there's slices of beef belly as well. Again, all you can eat for around $11. It smells so good. Grilled beef belly. That's so nice. Loads of fat. A little sesame oil and salt. Absolute perfection. My pork belly's almost done too. Ooh. Oh, there's a lot of fat in this. Oh, this is looking beautiful. Korean barbecue for me, I love the fattier meats. And just let it cook a little more till it has a crispy sear. Oh yeah, this is perfect right now. A little soybean paste. Oh. 
that is a quality piece of pork belly. The fat is so nice and toasty with that bit of crunch on the outside. The meat is tender. When you bite into it, your mouth is just flooded with that smoky pork juice. No gaminess whatsoever with this pork belly. Best way to eat this is definitely put into a some little scallion. This is what I call an awesome late night meal. That was so good. And then, nibble on some chilies. Chase it with soybean paste stew. That's pretty good. And then, just do it all over again. This place is really cool because I got a breeze from the window that I'm sitting next to. It's late, people are still here having a good time, drinking, eating barbecue. It's just such a fun experience. This one, some pork belly, add some garlic, a little bit of kimchi, scallions. This place, the pork is good, the soup's good. In the US, if you're going out for all you can eat Korean barbecue, nowadays, minimum $30, I think. It's unreal how good this is and how affordable this is. All right, pork belly's done. Next up, pork jaw and pig intestines. Also having a cold drink with your barbecue. And like I said, if you have an all you can drink option in the afternoon, the barbecue is so salty, so you wanna keep drinking, you'll definitely go through a lot of drinks. So next time, I'm coming for that. Thin sliced pork belly. That thing is basically pure, toasty fat. I think that's thinner and more tender than the beef belly. Mm. I'm so happy, I don't even feel full right now. Just sitting here, the breeze is super nice. The grill is hot, Pepsi's cold. Mm. It was such a good time. Pork neck. Mm. That thing is thin, so it gets a lot crispier than the pork belly. I'm excited for the skin. I haven't had, mm. That thing almost shot me in the eyeball. I guess that's one way to pick and take revenge. I'm just saying, pretty excited for the skin. Haven't had skin in a while. The skin, dip it in some soybean powder. Ooh, oh, that's nice. That is like the ultimate in fat collagen with just the most wondrous, sticky, porky flavor. I'll go to barbecues that just serve pig skin. I would, it's that delicious. Oh. The intestines, this might be my favorite thing tonight. Crispy, fatty, melts in your mouth. So much flavor. Oh yeah, the intestines in this buffet is better than some Daechang restaurants I've been to. This, the skin, pork belly, my favorite things tonight. Yeah, this buffet is absolutely phenomenal. There's also a ramen bar. We can cook some ramen, eat some barbecue. I really don't feel like I need that tonight, but this is one of my favorite places to go whenever I'm in South Korea. Such an amazing place. Plus it's open late. Ooh. Chase it with some garlic. Incredible. The next day. There are a bunch of these steamed shellfish restaurants all around Seoul. And this location, I think, is brand new. Not many people here, it's not even listed on Google. By the way, if you guys really want to find the local stuff when you're in Seoul, you gotta download the Naver app, more specifically Naver Maps. And a really easy trick to do is uh, whatever you want to eat, type that into Google Translate, and then copy and paste the Korean into the Naver app, and places like this will just show up. So uh, a timer goes on top, 12 more minutes, until this is done. So inside, there's scallops, there's clams, and it is starting to smell really, really good. Finally done, inside, look at this. Ginormous, fresh scallops. And this broth is just pure clam scallop umami drippings. Oh, it's, there's mussels here as well. Look at this, look at these ginormous clams down here. There's chilies, Napa cabbage. There's giant fan clams too. Oh my gosh. This is a literal mountain of shellfish. Wow, a little spicy, 
and just pure delicious seafood essence. Look at the size of this scallop. What? Dunk it in some soy sauce and chilies. Or you can dunk it in some wasabi or you can dunk it in some cheese. Oh my God. Oh, that's so sweet and tender. I think add a little wasabi to it. You're not gonna find much seafood that tastes better than this clam. Oh man, you know what? Dunk it in some cheese. Mm. Everything tastes as fresh as can be. And all that slightly briny shellfish umami. Mm. Soaked into the soup and then right back into the ingredients like the fish cake. The cabbage is ridiculous. Mussels. Oh, that mussel is so good. Everything's so good. This is something I've only ever seen in South Korea. If you're a seafood lover, this will absolutely make your day. What you can also do, take some of the broth, put it right into this cup. Take a bite of the fish cake. Delicious, by the way. Take a sip of broth. Mmm. So good, so good, so good. I can also add some chilies to the fish cake if you want. I love how the broth, they put chilies in the inside already. So it's naturally spicy. Got a crunch of kimchi as well. Let's try one of these dumplings too. Let it swim in the broth a little bit. Dunk it in my soy sauce chili. Mmm. Little chive dumplings, delicious. The scallops are the sweetest thing here. Different size clams in here, they're just so amazingly succulent. The smaller the clams, the more tender they are. I mean, this is a shellfish hot pot for the ages. And there's nothing in here besides some chilies. I think that's the only thing seasoning here. Everything else, the brininess, the slightly saltiness of the broth, it's just from the shellfish. These bigger clams are just the juiciest. Mm, take a bite, it's like a little burst of briny juice. Oh, I found some abalone as well. I feel like the more you dig, the more treasures you find. Oh, all right, so tender. That abalone is so tender. Yeah, all the seafood. This is all fresh. You can't beat this. It's so healthy too. Also, there's fan clams as well. These things are beautiful. Mm. That's one of the best things in here. Right now, back at the Myeongdong Night Market. And this is really interesting because all the food around 10 o'clock goes to half off. They're trying to get rid of all the food. So this is a really good time to come if you're hungry. Come to Myeongdong Night Market where usually the food's pretty expensive. You can get it for cheap now. Got a churro ice cream. That's pretty darn good. Churros good, ice cream's good, Oreo cookie, I'm sure that's good.